Welcome to the bad boy pod, talking bad boy bars, make a good girl nuts with the bad boy swag. Having conversations at a bad boy mad, sit down, relax, kick back, have a blast, enjoy the bad boy pod, brought to you by Lady Pod. In the testicle we go. <laughs> I mean, things are a little different this week. Why? Oh, I see. <laughs> I see where Hamlet's like, why? Do you <laughs> feel happening? weird? Not really. It feels very natural. Oh, yeah. We're so Do you feel like a Spice Girl? I watched Spice Girl this week. Oh, yeah, the girls. (laughs) Basically, we're holding Hanukkah movie? Spice Girls? Not really. Spice World. (laughs) Wait, what? My name's Diane. My name is also Diane. We're basically, we're holding the microphones because uh, somebody drove off with the mic stand. Obviously, it wasn't me if we're driving. So Yeah, it's true. (laughs) You think I'll ever learn? (laughs) Yeah. You know, when I'm... When I'm when a thousand I'm years old. Um, yeah, maybe. When licenses aren't even a thing, like post apocalyptic kind of shit. So when you actually don't need to learn how to drive, you just get behind the wheel and say a Boop. little prayer for you and I'll just go. be like, What see what's the point? It's just like what's the point? Do I need to? I don't know. You don't exactly. need to. Like if Sea Dog got a car. Um I mean maybe, yeah. To share the burden of being a bitch. It is a burden. Wow, she's honestly. really eating all the hair off her mind. I'm not eating sure the hair. It's that. tickling my nose. Do we need to get you a lint roller? A what? A lint roller. Nah, You're like, I'm a good. what? We don't buy those in this house. No, we don't have any lint rollers I, here. I grew up in a house that didn't use napkins or paper towel. So oh, we, we were definitely a paper towel as napkins house. Oh, I was so jealous of those families. Every time I was at like a friend's house, I'd be like, paper towel. But we were also like sometimes a paper towel as plate house. Oh, yeah. I'm... I'm very very jealous of that i loved making like a peanut butter sandwich and eating it with a paper towel instead of a plate one year when i was um delivering the mirror north york mirror yep of course um please subscribe actually i think it's just going to like the internet now so i think it's just going to be on available online also not enough people read the newspaper anymore i mean well so you, sad. Heard, you actually did hear that here last <laughs> <laughs> sad um and what was my point literally what was i talking about the mirror um we were talking about hair we were talking about paper towels oh my god yeah they were telling us to give out samples of this paper towel i hoarded them all oh i didn't do it my dad told me to hoard them all didn't give them out no one even noticed well yeah that was the only paper towel we used you never know what you don't get but it wasn't used for like it was a special occasion cloth napkins schmata just like but like no we were just like animals we just didn't use just wash our hands yeah, we're messy we're just little messy babies. bitches. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who live for the drama? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was us. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. Yeah, I mean, I still sometimes go with the paper towel as a plate route, and mm. as an adult, it's so easy, kind of pathetic. It's um, it's like it does not. It's nothing. It does nothing for the crumbs. I will say, not a thing. Mm-hmm. Not a thing. Basically, what what does it do? You know, what does it do? But that you. You get a sandwich, you use the paper towel as a plate, and then you use it as a napkin. It's like the multi, it's like a Swiss army knife. Mm. That's like, that's what I remember when I was at Friends. We would like, this is something I, this is a core memory unlocked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like 2 a.m. We're all playing on one computer or whatever. Mm -hmm. We're just like doing stupid stuff. We're like watching videos till like 2 a.m. And we're eating like frozen pizza pockets in the basement. Mm. You heat it up on a napkin. Yep. You eat it on a napkin. Yep. You boop, 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 boop. She's wiping around her little Mm. mouth. Yeah. Let's be real. Well, Hot Pockets came in the sleeve. What's... You mean like a little plastic sh- No, it was like a cardboard... No. Oh, that's a Hot Pocket. A Hot Pocket. That's that's what that is. Yeah. These all just came in like little plastic sheets. Oh, like a toasty nose pizza roll situation? No. See, this is something I think is kind of maybe a Canadian thing. Because it's mm. like... I said pizza... Like, I didn't like... There was Pizza Pops and Pizza Pockets. Pizza Pockets... I can't believe I'm saying this. Were shaped like a patty, like a Jamaican patty. So they're lower, I they're know. like a calzone. Yeah. But they're the size of, they're that big? No, they're like a personal, like a kid size. Let's, you know, but it's but shaped like a Like Jamaican half patty. a Hot Pocket? But a Hot, no. Well, a Hot Pocket is so different. A Hot Pocket is so different. I'll put them in the Slimer. This is such an early Slimer, but like Hot pizza Pockets pocket? and Pizza Pockets, they're two different things. Okay, because there's toasting and Pizza Rolls. Totally different thing. This is like a little personal thing for you to put in the, like it's a freezer thing. Uh-huh. You like, you know, pop in the microwave like a kid's snack after school mm-hmm. or 2 a.m. Sure. What um, about Bagel Bites? We were definitely a Bagel Bites household. We, definitely not in my household, but like... 
We, we were not like a fun treats household at all. <laughs> I used to think like, I was the best at making bagel bites. I like bragged about it. Oh, they sound so good right now. Do they? Um, I used to remember when we used to get like the Trader Joe's ones. Oh my God. Those, those were, were good. really good. Those were really good. Those were a fun little snack we used to eat sometimes. Yeah, we did our, eat those. In our early friendship in our days. Early, in our early 20s, you can eat as many Trader Joe's frozen oh. little pizzas as you want. And then you turn 30. matter. All of a sudden, they also disappear because I don't think they exist anymore. Oh, they don't make spicoli di di Italiano or whatever (laughs) the fuck it's called. They do. Well, email Diane. I'll also put them in the slimer. In the slimer, if I have room. Yeah, you're gonna have to do a pizza foursome. Do a pizza foursome. Oh my god, pizza foursome! That's such a good idea. Yeah. What's the fourth pizza? (laughs) Well, pizza pocket, Um, hot pocket, tostino pizza rolls, Italian spicoli de parmigiana de, so right. de trader giotto's trader giotto i know bring him uh, back. would you fuck him or trader giotto yeah between trader giotto hey. uh-huh. the other trader trader Gio- jose tr- uh, characters they're I don't all remember. quite racist yeah they were pretty racist yeah you know um, I, am. I would do one huge orgy <sighs> with all of the traders good point with every trader joe in the book just open a, up a bunch of that frozen ravioli and mm. go nuts mm-hmm. frozen ravioli frozen orange chicken you wouldn't you don't even like trader joe's that much do you no i don't you're, I like, don't really you're kind of like i don't like care for it their produce sucks you know i'm oh, not the first person to say it sucks. i will say this though their cheese mm-hmm. selection good can't be beat can't be well could be but can't be yeah it's not bad i mean like you know what even mccall's isn't that expensive cheese wise i've noticed oh can you believe you heard is this an noticed? ad for mccall's i guess so basically right. kind of a lengthy little very testerini. very huge um but we had to get through all of the pizza talk you know what i mean <laughs> That's kind of, yeah, it's a huge for us. Kind of normal. Perfect. I did everything right and they indicted me. True. We're back. Ugh, fuck, it literally is. Ugh. Like, anyway, I'm Toledo Vidovich, and when push comes to shove, I'm a little pizza pocket. Mm. Mm. My name is Zoe Clark. I'm more of a frozen... Ooh. Spinach and feta. Ooh. Blintz? I don't know. Do they make those? Probably not. Probably not spinach, <laughs> spinach and feta. Spinach and feta blitz. <laughs> I mean like a frozen spanakopita. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's that a really slaps. good. Ooh. But like in the pockets. personal pocket yeah, yeah, yeah. size. The triangles. Yeah. Those I are definitely that. sold at Trader Joe's as I'd well. I fucking eat that shit up. Yeah. I like that. Except sometimes mm-hmm. way too hot. Oh my god, I'd burn my mouth on one immediately. Yep, but puff That's pastry one... is kind of an underrated icon. Is it puff pastry or phyllo? Oh, that's phyllo. You're so fucking right. Fuck. Listen, sorry, I had to come out with the baker's you knowledge. Literally, just embarrassed me in front I'm of sorry. everybody. My name is Paul Hollywood. Your name is. And when I know better, I know better. Your name is Paul phyllo. Hollywood, and you just humiliated me in front of the pod. Oh, I'm so sorry. They used just they, blah, 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 blah. they used to do a spinach and feta phyllo pocket let's call it mm-hmm. at the bakery mm. it was delicious so. how big also jamaican Sorry, beef patty really size no it's more of a it's honestly more of a hot pocket that's a good size um but it's like you know very delicate and wrapped and made with phyllo and made with phyllo but they also uh no this was some i don't think they ever did a puff i mean they had like napoleons or whatever so they did that in like a pop pastry how you make phyllo dough it's so thin it's so annoying you've made it or you i have saw, never made you it. saw them make it. i've watched them make it thousands of times they pumped out napoleons like crazy it must be so thin they have a machine that like thins the dough and yeah. thins the dough and they used to sell their own too actually phyllo dough you Yummy. can just buy it frozen yeah that's you can buy of... it frozen anywhere really yeah that yeah. i mean i don't think anyone would bake their own phyllo dough that'd be it's nuts don't you have to put like um butter between the layers yeah. and stuff no ugh, no thank you delicious though so, oh delicious i mean layers. i would if if i were buying it i'd be fine with that if i were making it kill me i literally had napoleon last night i made baguettes you did i did Ooh. it was a multi-day process oh my and i didn't add enough salt and baker's I really corner could have, i really could have benefited from a baker's stone i have a photo though we could put them in wilmer they Please look do. good how do they taste they tasted good. They needed more salt and like the bottom was a little like the top was perfectly crunchy and the bottom was a little soft because I didn't have a baker's stone. Back to, I mean like baker's corner cooking corner. Yeah. You know what's funny? Hmm. And I've only noticed this in my ripe, ripe age of 36. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I was cooking latkes. Mm. Best ever. And it was like, oh my God, I think I can smell now when something is a little undersalted. 
Oh. And I was right. And I was like, better adjust. Bing, bing, bing. Spidey sense on A the loose. spidey sense. It was like, this didn't smell quite. And I was like, I think it actually smells undersalted. I'm a chronic undersalter. I, me, me too, me too. It's hard. Like, it I is think sad. it's my culture. It is. <laughs> I know, I'm white. I'm okay? white. I'm white. Let me like, undersalt. You can't hate me for undersalting. Jerry does hate me for undersalting. He's mm, literally when I, I, it took me a very long time to not get offended by him adding salt to the food I make. To my darling mama. Yeah, I'm a little bit British with the salt. <laughs> um, yeah, they they really hate all spice though. Oh, oh yeah. Favorite spice? But Email Diane. Favorite spice? You know, cumins and I, I. The thing is, I put garlic powder on everything. Oh God, I love. It. I have a good garlic powder oh, right now, actually. Yummy, yummy. Um, but yeah. I love her. I feel like, yeah, so now whenever I make food, make dinner, I just bring Jerry the salt shaker because that is, it's like (laughs) less offensive if I bring him the salt shaker rather than like he has to go and get the salt. Like that offends me. But if I bring him the salt shaker, I'm like, this is part of the presentation. Mm, That's a good, listen, 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 this is how to save your marriage. Yeah. Bring Bring a salt shaker. Bring out a salt shaker. My name is Zoe Clark. I'm real. My name is Dr. Phil Clark because like you got to bring it out. Listen, at least he didn't, he's not like, this is the unsaltiest shit I've ever tasted. Yeah. I, and I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I anyway. Mean, you can't oversalt though. That's the thing. Because uh, you just, the thing about oversalting is like, you just keep building on the salt. And then it's like inedible. And like just undersalted, I can eat it. Oversalted, I can't. So Soup fuck. Soup is so fun to salt. Just kidding. <laughs> it's exhausting. Soup, you can't, you can't help but just it's keep really salting. Like a, beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Beep. Yep. Boop. Oh, there we go. What kind of soup did you all. make? Not recent. Oh. The last soup I've made, probably a borscht, honestly. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was a borscht. I didn't actually. realize you were such a borscht addict. I actually am. I did really you, <laughs> did you, were the beets everywhere? The, what do you mean the beets everywhere? Like in my home? Yeah. No. Are, I mean, it, I'm very, it's not that hard. I mean, all you it have to do a is stainy, roast them. A stainy, stainy Daniels? Oh, no. I, I love, I mean, it's really just roast the beets and then the skin comes Pure- off and puree so them puree those hoes no don't even no you don't have to puree them at all just chop them up oh um i mean it's like you can do you know you're vegetarian so you wouldn't do this but you could do like a beef and then use that stock or whatever or you can just get veggie stock and use sure. veg stock and then i mean yeah there's no you don't have to put any meat in there if you don't want to borscht is really your culture it really is. But I'm like, uh, I'm a bit of a, I have to put cabbage in it too, bitch. And oh. that's like not tradish. Okay. But it's a bit cabbage of a is also Ukrainian Russian blend. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, let's move on. Who is your bad boy in the block? Oh my God. So we reoriented our couch, which is not the bad oh, boy. Oh, you did? Yeah. Which. I'm glad you did. Because like. How is it? You know how it has the ones, like the L, it's the L shape. Yep. But it's a pullout couch. Yep. Don't kill us. Don't sleep on our <laughs> don't sleep on our couch when we're sleeping. You're not invited. You're not invited. Um, but Please it is don't a touch my couch. couch. It is. So then you're able to switch that to the other side. Mm-hmm. So then you can have it like, like when you walk in the door, it's more of an inviting L shape instead of yeah. A, you've walked into the couch zone. Yeah. I I think that was the right walk. move. I think it was too. But bad boy filled with hair. Ew. Oh my god. I wish I took a picture. Cat hair. Oh, and human Julia hair. Oh, Julia, Julia hair. Let's be honest. It, it had a bit of a reddish tinge, but like, I mean, it was late professor hair too. Late professor's hair, R.I.P. Did David. you vacuum Never it out? Wrong. Oh, yeah. I mean, huge sip of coffee alert. Um, It was like, because you have to take apart the entire couch, essentially. Right. And then reorient it. Yeah. So it was like, oh, gross. It was just like. It like fell out. It was like a dry. There were just certain areas where it was just like, oh, a cat has been here and a human has been in this area. And what? this is the concentration. And of you hair. like, pu- you pulled out a chunk. P- like a chunker. There was like a line chunker. Wow. Yeah, it was nuts. But, but was like, it like a little satisfying? It was a little sad. It was definitely an oddly satisfying bitch. Yeah. But then I went and I vacuumed the hell out of it yeah, and yeah, dusted yeah. and like pounded it. Oh yeah, you gotta go to Pound Town, baby. But like, I mean, I bet I bet the fucking, my, my nose is so happy. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's so pleased. It you don't even know. know the particles you're inhaling. No idea. My name is... Diane Particles. Diane Particles. <laughs> Scientist <laughs> Diane. Dr. My Diane name Particles. is Diane Claritin. Diane Claritin Particles. Yep. Beautiful name. Hyphenated. 
<laughs> Hyphenated. So I've just been breathing that shit. So I guess that is my bad boy. I'm a real hairy bitch. We've just got a lot of hair in this family. Okay. You do. But the couch orientation is good. Yeah, it's perfect. How do you feel? Maybe I'll put it on the slimer. Maybe not. Maybe I'll leave you all in mystery. I mean, hey, don't sleep on Maybe it. Maybe you'll see it next week on our next fucking episode. Who oh, knows? Yeah. Who knows? Hmm. Okay, my bad boy in the block. Mm-hmm. Someone, oh, God. a real scoundrel if you ask me. I'm scared. Edited Eminem's Wikipedia page to say <gasps> that he died. Oh my God. That's and then, boy. that's hilarious. There was like a, it was like on Twitter and everyone's like, oh my God, wait. Marshall Mathers dead. Marshall Mathers dead. Wow. Luckily, he's still alive. That would honestly be the celebrity death that affects... That is going to be the celebrity death that affects me the most. Which is so weird because he's such a bad person. But bad boy, that scoundrel. <laughs> yeah, but he Let's was my first him. celebrity crush. Do you think it was someone that knows him intimately? Yeah, I think it was Haley Jade. Oh my God, <laughs> bitch. Just kidding. Um, I hope she's okay. I really do. <laughs> I think she's fine. Um, you know, she's like an influencer. Do you think she listens to this? Just kidding. Like I a hope cool so. influencer or... Like, I mean, is there a cool influencer? Email Diane. No, she's not cool, but she does influence. And okay. she does look like Eminem. Do we influence? She definitely has Rustic Marshall face. That's weird. That's weird. It is weird. I've seen 8 Mile more times than I want to admit. I and not even movie. on my own, like, volition. When he fucks the late Britney Murphy in the oh, storage yeah. room. Pretty hot, actually. Epic sex scene, though. I mean, I feel like that's kind of, like, necessary to watch. Yeah, it's... You know what, guys? Watch that over the weekend. How about that? Show it to your family at Christmas in a few weeks. Agreed. Agreed. Um, it's definitely my favorite Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're we're smack dab in the middle of Hanukkah, but... Someone, a- what is- Someone asked at the thing I was at yesterday, what's your favorite Christmas movie and Christmas oh song? Oh, fucking God. I, I mean, like, Christmas um, songs are not fun. And Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I'm still... Li- I mean, like, I'm very basic. I'm like... I mean, it's not... I don't think I have a favorite Christmas song. But like Hanukkah song? Yep. Adam Sandler. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's the funniest one. It's very, it's I definitely mean, it's the funniest Sandler, one. But like, it's like early Adam Sandler, so it's still funny. It's still a hee hee hee. It is a hee hee. To me. I hee 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 at it, you know? Yeah. I mean, he's, um, uh, he's not even cringe now. I mean, like. No, he's fine. Except for that, I'm, I'm sure that wonderful new animated film he's, uh, did a voice on is wonderful oh yeah i bet it's great i don't even know what you're talking about but i'm sure it's i just see ads for it everywhere yeah around on uh yeah he's not he seems like a good person right here's a bad boy okay or a good boy for some maybe okay that new willy wonka movie yeah there's like um there's a bus stop near me and on the bench it has a new willy wonka like movie poster to me though looks like a celestial seasonings box oh it's so kooky pic- i'm like what's going on more. here yeah don't kill me are you gonna watch it no it is no, a musical I'm, I think. I'm forced i'm not interested it's a musical i think is it too great yeah great i'm not gonna enjoy that what's the song oompa loompa doopa dee boop <laughs> have um, you seen oh, hugh grant oh. as the oompa loompa oh yes i have wait that felt like a fucking fever dream um it's so good it's so weird where did i see that in a commercial i guess i guess in a commercial i yeah, mean i think was... there was a moment where oh was... i think i was watching the literal preview for it oh yeah and i was like hugh grant as an oompa loompa that wasn't on my 2023 bingo card i imagine hugh grant died this year oh saddest death of all no i mean hottest death this year <laughs> well yeah i guess I mean, not to rank them, that. but for me. Oh, not RIP to rank Norman Lear. Oh my God. Another death that we definitely predicted. No, we didn't. But oh, no, we're just we could, if somebody asked, I would have said, yeah, he's, he's, he's a good out. person. Yeah, he's a good person. So Not a bad person. So we're respectful, respectful but don't go to him. You have done nothing wrong. Unless have. What is this fucking Willy Wonka song? Oh, the one that's like, I get it in my head sometimes. It's like, the, uh, oh, the, the. It's on the tip of my tongue. I'm probably going to remember it in the middle of the show. I just start belting it. That's no fine. Reason. I It's really bothering me. It's so annoying. Do you want to put it on? Wonderful, magical, oh, enchanted. Oh, oh my God. Da, 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 And you'll see. Oh, that's That's it. what it is. Uh, uh, I get it in my head sometimes. I'm like, what is that from again? <laughs> yeah, the world of pure imagination. There we go. Part. Wow. That's what we are. That's really what that's we are. That's the uh, episode title. Actually. Okay, perfect. World of pure imagination. Um, okay, let's move on to updates. A quick little brief, a brief a brief a doodle do. Yes. Um, brief a doodle ding dong. Brief a doodle ding dong. 
George Santos on Cameo, 400 bucks a pop, I think. Perfect. Wow. Worth it every It started penny. at 200 but now it's 400 Wow. Yeah. He's raising his prices, baby. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't support him if I were you, but hey, your, your money, your call. I'm not spending $400 on that. What Absolutely. a steal for someone who really, 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 really wants to take a joke uh, to the next level. I think Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, God. Did he a bunch. would. He fucking would. He did a bit of a prankadoodle dandy on George Santos's cameo. God, that's so weird. I know. But I guess do it as long as it lasts. Okay. Diplo. Mm-hmm. Bad DJ alert. Uh-oh. <sighs> Accused of yet again distributing revenge porn. I can't Can tell stop? if it's like the same person who has press charges previously or not, but seems bad. I hate it. Can you please stop? Or is this just like an old... I, I, it was unclear because it was, it's definitely like, it definitely came up again, but I can't tell if it's like a different case or if it's just an old case rearing its ugly head again. I hate it. So do I. Okay. And then the final bad boy update is Hunter Biderama indicted no. on nine tax no. related charges. Oh, fine. Apparently, he engaged in a four-year scheme to not pay at least $1.4 million in taxes. And if convicted, he could face up to 17 years in prison. That's kind of more than I thought he would. It's a substantial Nancy. I mean, <laughs> okay, what's his big excuse? Just, I forgot or I am I just didn't want to pay taxes because I don't That's feel a, like I should. More of a drug-a-doodle-ding-dong. Oh, it was a drug-a-doodle-ding-dong. And like a sex worker doodle dandy. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what? I don't think that excuse is going to hold up in court. Okay, I don't think it will either. Um, but you know what? Maybe the, he Wow, could, he really could go to jail, though. He Maybe he could negotiate like a rehab situation. He probably will. He yeah. is literally rich. He's literally and rich. And white. So he probably yeah. will be able to squeeze out of this somehow. And his literal dad is president, I guess. Yeah, literally. I not mean, that's for, wild. I mean, Not for long. <laughs> oh, Sorry. God. It's like... Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for this next fuck. <laughs> Ugh, I don't want to ask, but are you going to vote for Biden? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't fucking know. I, I would know. love to do a. I need. I need a third party. <laughs> New poll just dropped. Just kidding. Mommy needs a third party, bitch. I mean, I, quick, I'm, someone figure something out. I'm now. worried. Diane, please be a third party, bitch. I really don't want Trump to win, but I really don't like. Okay, Biden. we're all voting for Trump. I'm just kidding. I'm just really, 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 really kidding. I really don't like the way Biden is handling Israel right now. No, no one does. But he's a war criminal, just like everyone else is, and. You know, he probably just thinks war is money. He literally went, like, the UN. Ugh. Anyway, we don't have to get into it. Um, but fuck you, Joe Biden, right now. Uh, you know, I know you're listening. Jill. He's just a liar. I mean, like, literally, I mean, I don't know. It's not, it, again, isn't it an independent thought that, like, literally every politician is a huge fucking liar? Yeah, no, they all are. But, like, in addition to that, obviously not having a heart not caring and i don't know how he sleeps at night probably in some kind of cry like they literally oh, have to stop yeah. his heart or something he definitely floats i don't know <laughs> i would be i would be eaten alive by my crimes um i i mentioned on previous pod that i like faxed and emailed my uh state representative mm -hmm. or my uh congress and they finally blocked you my com my congresswoman <laughs> judy chu yeah she showed up at my door no um, and then when there was the four day ceasefire, remember that? So brutal. Over yeah. like Black Friday. Uh -huh. She emailed me and was like, hey, I appreciate your email. Maybe you've noticed the four day ceasefire. Oh, great. Thanks and for I'm all like, you've what done. What about now, Judy? What was the number? 15,000 Palestinians killed so far? I mean, that. I mean, listen, who knows what is the actual accurate number? Maybe it's 15,001. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Still any, too many? No, One is too many. Way too many. Um, Judy. Fuck you. Judy, you're doing the bare like, minimum. Way to send me a fucking email during the ceasefire. You know what that's like? like? It's like it's like not helping someone in an email and then just forwarding and being like, hey, can you help this person? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I can't do anything. My hands are tied. I, <laughs> I just can't do anything about this. Yeah. So but Judy, did you see what I did do? I passed around your little, you know, well wishers. Right. But what we should be doing over there. Um. Anyway, mad at you. Mad at you, Judy. Um. Moving on. Hate to it. our bad boy of the week, which is really just more of a... It's like a, a Britney's little book. It's like a Britney's little book digestive. Um, let's start with the good news that her father's leg was amputated <laughs> due to <laughs> an infection. Wow. What a... Uh, uh, wow. Agreed. Bit of a delay aroma there on um, Wicked. But like, apparently it's been gone for a, over a month now. Yeah. He's been legless for a month. So All right, scary. we're back. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna jump out a window. Like 95 late breaking bad boys in a row. It's true. Kevin was severely possessed by the <laughs> by the ghost Bridges of Bruce's Jamie father. Spears' dad's leg. Yeah, rude. <laughs> what do you go think back to hell? What do you think they did with his leg after it was amputated? <laughs> Sorry. Swung it around. <laughs> <laughs> just because. Uh, just for no reason. Terrible. Agreed. Um, so we read Brit- Britney's book, narrated by Michelle Williams, the actress. Random choice, but they do sort of sound alike. Do you think yeah. that's why she was chosen? I mean, I guess. I was confused sometimes. I was like, oh, this isn't Britney. I she, has the, that. she has a sweet voice. She does have a sweet little voice, but she also has like an ex-smoker voice, which is like mm. classic. Mm-hmm. I feel, mm-hmm. I mean, Britney's a smoker now, right? Email, Email Diane. Diane. Email Marlboro representative Diane. Yeah. Um, She's Joe Camel. She is. She really is. I enjoyed the book. I mean. It was just fine. Yeah. I mean, right. it, it, it was it was definitely <laughs> Britney Spears' book. It was definitely Britney Spears' book. Um, it definitely provided insight into her conservatorship and how fucking horrible it was and how her dad is like the worst man alive. And then like at some points being really hard to relate where she's just like, I just need to relax on a private island alone. <laughs> like, yeah, I get that. I mean, like, I get that you're a millionaire and that's how you get to fucking relax. I get it's it. like, it's I, like I just need to go to Maui. And... Um, it, I, what I didn't really realize is how much they, like, used her children Ugh. as, yeah. like, trying to keep her in the conservatorship. They, like, used her children as bargaining chips, kind of, being like, if you if you play by the rules, you can spend a couple hours with your sons. So was that more of her dad's doing? Because this is what confused me. It doesn't seem like she hates Kevin Federline that much. It doesn't. It kind of seems like the media spins it a bit. Am I wrong? It also... Who's spinning it that I'm so wrong feeling about it? Well, I think KFED is, was such a punchline for so long. Maybe. Because he literally was. And she talked about in the book her like when he like pursued music and how... Uh, embarrassing that was yeah um and it does seem like at least in the beginning of their relationship and in the beginning of their kids lives that he was sort of absent interesting which then made the fact that the conservatorship kind of took her kids away from her that much more like what the fuck i mean at least it didn't i'm glad the kids didn't go to her parents yeah me too when i really think about it nowadays yeah better to go to kevin than jamie when you really think about it i mean it was weird it is weird to be in the public spotlight i'm sure yeah that must be really strange for people because everybody is really speculating on your entire relationship it's true because i was under the impression this entire time she did not like him and that was not the impression i got from the book at all i agree with that so weird like she genuinely likes him a lot would she talk shit about her parents father like this publicly i don't, I don't know. know that's a good like, good question email diane that's email a good diane. question because like maybe maybe she really doesn't like him but like for the sake of her children like it's from the book it seems like her children are her top priority always and forever no matter what yeah and like everything she did including like not fighting against her dad in the conservatorship and performing in vegas even though she didn't want to and all of this stuff it was like with the hope that at the end she would be reunited with her kids. So I could see her being like, I'm not going to talk too much shit. But also it seems like maybe there's a little bit of gratitude because the breaking point for the conservatorship was when Jamie like busted into Kevin's house. Remember he like, yeah, he like was a real moment. here. Yeah. Like, one of her sons was in a in a room and he, and Jamie like busted through the door and shook him or something and something like that. I mean, it doesn't really matter the details of the child abuse here, but right. It, and then that's the general Kevin idea. Called the cops, and it seems like that was sort of the turning point in the conservatorship. So maybe there's a little bit of like gratitude, like even though yeah, I guess I mean like for someone finally saying yeah, you know your dad is maybe a, a bad dude, sh- maybe the sack of shit that you say he is. Yeah, I mean. I- Granted, I'm glad that they have a dad in their life that can take them and that they were not raised by fucking Jamie ass Spears. Yeah, exactly. Jesus. Um, And it does seem like she definitely resents Jamie Lynn a little bit for like basically telling her to like tell basically telling Brittany to just like shut up and deal with the conservatorship. I mean, all of it is very relatable and relatable where you're like, oh, sibling shit. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, (laughs) it. It is hard not to resent your younger sibling ever. 
Yeah, I don't have one, but there's there's like a oh my god TikTok now and mm-hmm. like Instagram loves talking about that older uh, daughter syndrome bullshit. Mm-hmm. And you're like, sure, there's some truth to this, but it's also really like everywhere like it's kind of annoying um but there is some older sibling bullshit but it also must not be easy not like oh poor jamie lynn but kind of like yeah i mean when your family's Brit- living off of you yeah if it- Brittany is your older sister and like you know that the only reason that you have the life you have is because of her i mean if you grow up stinking rich and don't really even realize and not really sure where it comes from, yeah, yeah. probably. You don't really understand how to be appreciative or uh, like you don't know another way of life. So I would fucking resent my younger sibling for fucking sure. Yeah. And she actually like towards the end of the conservatorship, um, she was in a rehab program or it was like yeah because of like the caffeine pills or something right. like not even i don't know she's saying that this was like an over-the-counter like yeah. i don't even know what she's talking about i'm not no i don't I, I just don't know what it is but she was found with energy supplements in her purse what's an energy supplement to you that's over the counter energy supplement would be like the type of thing you find at a gas station that's like tiger balls or whatever oh yeah okay you know so five I mean? hour energy drink or whatever like that shit um, so yeah, it's so, like herbs and whatever. Great. So she was in this rehab facility for months. It cost $60,000 a month. No, thank you. It was in Beverly Hills. Uh, this is according to Brittany. My father said that if I didn't go, I'd have to go to court and I'd be embarrassed. Um, adding that Jamie Spears threatened to make her look like an idiot. And when she was in rehab is when she learned about the free Britney movement. That was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually really sweet. And like the nurse will like showing her showing yeah she was sure by it was it was really wild that like it took that i guess some like yeah. nurse being like hey did you know people were talking about you because i remember i mean there was that i don't know if it's a pot anymore i'm probably not free britney was that what it was called well it started off it's as so britney's long. gram that's what it was britney's gram because her like instagram was so wild it was it's still wild it is just in a different way a lot less tame because someone else was controlling the content she was posting right. and people knew and her fans could tell that like Something she was, was locked up. up somewhere yeah and they were right which is so they were wild. right they were literally right um and so i think like when all that stuff happened it was like she was excited but then in the in the book she talks about the documentaries that came out and yeah. like that people that she knows were speaking out about the situation of the documentary but like didn't talk to her about it and i would Mm. imagine that's a bit of a mind fuck that's really scary i mean it must suck to be a literal famous person and people just like speaking on your behalf and name dropping your name all the time being like oh yeah yeah i know this person um justin timberlake obviously seems like the worst person in the world i mean other than jamie jamie spears but like i love that she confirmed that he is yeah I mean, very, she very not good. talked about, and I think we've talked about it on the pod a little bit, the um, abortion she had and how she didn't want to and how he sang to her on the floor. Oh, um, that was possibly the worst part. And then, you know, they dated for a while and then he dumped her over text message and that's stupid. Um, she also talks about when she was like sort of, you know, when she shaved her head and stuff, it was like... It was her way of, like, taking her power back, which is, like, such, like, a teenage girl thing to do. Like, well, fuck you. I'm going to dye my hair red. But, I mean, that's what you said, right? (laughs) (laughs) Is that what I said? Um, I don't know. But it makes sense. It's like she was like, I felt free. But then everyone, like, couldn't even look at me. Like, my mom thought I was hideous because I didn't have my hair. But it's like if from the time you're 16 years old, you're told that, like, your physical self is only meant for the joy of other people. Ugh, it's such a really dismal message for teen girls, but it like is. they really broadcast it. It does, nothing's ever stopped. I mean, nothing has been different. No. Um god, that's so weird. I forgot also that Justin cheated more than we knew. Yeah. Like he was a cheater Bobidi. He was a cheater. But like um and also I mean, I think we all remember that music video. Crime a River. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Worst song on earth. Uh, <laughs> it is a really bad... Well, actually, okay. like, I really hate a lot of Justin's music. It's really um, good. My least favorite Justin song is Suit and Tie. Oh, yeah. That's really... It's she one of my it. least favorite songs of all time, actually. Beep, 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 beep. That song was I'm everywhere for a bit. Yeah, it's not a good song. It's not He's a good song. really not a good... I mean, 
I'm I'm sure Jessica Biel thinks he's just so funny. Oh, I'm sure Jessica Biel thinks he's the bee's knees. She thinks he's hilarious, or she's just completely bothered by him at this what point. What sucks the most is that his career... Well, no. What sucks the most is that Brady was, like, locked up for a bajillion years. But what sucks the second most is that his Justin Timberlake's career is going to be fine. Oh, that's a really good point. You know? Oh, God. Yeah, her virginity bullshit. Oh, that was another part of the... She didn't mind that Justin was talking about, like, sex or whatever, and she didn't mind that he was, like... Because she was hiding the fact that she had not been a virgin since she was 14. Right. So this entire time, um, they were, yeah, broadcasting this false message. Right. Not that it matters, anyway. Like, it was so dumb. It was so dumb. Did anybody fucking believe it? I mean, like, it's just so weird. I just think it's, like... Like, these are, like, 40-year-old men. 30-year-old women. Do you have a boyfriend? talking to like a 17 year old girl like when i was like 16 i would everyone has that one aunt aunt diane we'll call her hell yeah oh wait all right we're back amazing aunt diane would always ask me from when i was like 14 on like Ew. any boys any crush do you have a crush any boys in your life do you have a crush do you have a boyfriend who are you kissing and i'm like what even at the time and this woman's related to me i'm like this is so invasive <laughs> And I wasn't even on TV, you know, it was just like in my living room with the rest of my family and it felt so icky to me and like so weird being like a young lady (laughs) and just like trying to fucking figure it out and then having Meredith Vieira or whoever the fuck just like pepper you with questions about your body and your sex life. It just must be horrible. I don't even know. I mean, this has nothing to do with anything. Yep. But like 90 Day Fiance. Sure. Just totally bringing it up randomly now. No, why not? They have this new weird obsession where <laughs> when they do this like first look for the couples when they finally met at the airport and it's like, yay, we met. Let's go to the hotel room we went mm. to, rented or let's go back to our place and let's go. And then you know, they, they follow, the camera follows them into the bedroom yep. to watch the first you know, yep. few seconds of them getting down and you're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Why are we watching this? Yeah. Why did this become such an obsession watching people fuck or knowing about people fucking? I don't know. What it is so I funny. Mean, I guess because it's like because we're like taught that it's taboo or something that like then. When so you get Brittany, a sneak tell peek, us about your sex life as a 16 year old girl. So gnarly. <laughs> yeah, I have a full blown sex life that you absolutely want to hear like, about. Let the fucking woman. Now she's like, whatever, 40, whatever. Let her dance around with no top on. Like, let's be honest. When did you actually start having set? Like, like, re, like when did every woman on earth actually have like a real normal two-way sex time where like the other person was actively trying to get them off because oh, like no item never <laughs> like never <laughs> like because no one's actually asking that question just like when are you actually sexually active just like the fact that like they spent the first five six years of her career when she was a literal teenager obsessed with her boobs obsessed with her body <sighs> obsessed so with her weird. sex life remember those and, weirdos obsessed with the olsen twins when they're in a tear in 18 oh, yeah, like, like you fucking countdown. sickos horrible and then there was one for that kid from Stranger Things. Oh yeah, Millie Jesus Bobby Christ! Brown. Yeah, Drake's Drake's. Oh, Drake's text countdown. Buddy. Anyway, and now she's a full blown adult, and she's naked, and she's dancing around, and blah 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 blah, and everyone's criticizing that. Like people are gonna criticize. It's like you were so obsessed with sexualizing her for so long, and now that she's older and like a real woman you think it's horrible and gross and embarrassing and pathetic and like why is she doing this like the worst people like criticizing people for that you just can't you just can't win as a woman in the spotlight you can't win as a woman in the spotlight you can't, you can't make a sex joke no or else you're a hoe or else you're a hoe and i did think it was interesting when she was talking about how like it made her feel good that justin was like talking about them fucking because it sort of breaks the veil of like her innocence mm-hmm. it makes sense Breaks the veil of innocence is interesting because I mean that's all that's all marketing, baby. Yeah, I mean, and it wasn't so like her choice. Hmm. You know, it wasn't like she was like, "I'm going to be the innocent one forever." Like that wasn't what she wanted. She just wanted to be like a normal person. Yeah, I mean, it is so sad that she. I mean, when you think about her little her, I don't want to say I'm not trying to diminish it by saying her little career, but like the career that she had, this like little time. Yeah, and how much authority she actually had over it, and how much like artistic. Oh, gosh. I mean, there was like stories about how when she piped out about a certain dance move, she probably couldn't do anymore because she's in her 30s and like her body doesn't move like that anymore. Mm -hmm. And then that turned into, you know, Britney's being difficult. 
Yeah. You know, because she spoke up about something or right. she's less, you know, added some kind of uh, involvement. I mean, that's got to be fucking sad. That's yeah. not even a creative input thing. That's right. just a, I can't do this. And it was thing. like, she talked about that a lot when she was talking about her Vegas residency and how it's just like the same show night after night after night after night. And she really wanted to like switch it up a little bit. Add a song, switch up the order, do a dance thing. And just well, she was like consistently shot down. It's like if they didn't exact control over her in literally every single aspect of her life, what she was going to like reassume. She was going to like somehow be able to take her life back. Yeah. I mean, like n- every family is a cult, but like this one was a pretty bad one. But it's just like the minutia that her dad was obsessed with. Ugh, the cra- the grossest thing he said was when he said, I am Britney Spears now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty weird. Are you? Because I've never car- seen you carry a boa constrictor. <laughs> Whatever that was. <laughs> Literally, like, I'm not sure what it was. I don't want to see you dance with a snake, but like, could you even do that, Jamie? No. No. Honestly, send that, send that snake his leg. Oh, totally. I, am. I mean, you think that snake is dead, probably. Probably. Rest in peace. We'll Rest find out. I'll put to that in the slimer. True pop icon. I'll literally find out who that is. I mean, that snake is a pop icon. Yeah. But it People is really know. sad the way she talked about her beginning of the, the beginning of her career and how like inspired she was and how she was able to like make decisions and like in the baby one more time video, she like helped with the creative direction of that and like how yeah. she got bored with her songs they wouldn't let yeah. her remix anything yeah um, and then how like it's very just, controlled everything just went downhill it's so fucked it's so fucked. also men ruin everything uh, they really do <sighs> they literally do i mean in, in terms of especially like someone taking over your career yeah. i mean nothing like a fucking male family member that's gonna stifle you entirely literally just like uh, I don't know. I can't imagine one good thing he's done other than learn, lend his sperm. Yeah. Literally. And it does seem like she, I mean, because recently the news, whatever, was about how she sort of has reconciled with her mom and her sister. And it does seem like she, from the book, like her, like devil number one is her dad. Like, I don't think she like quite blames yeah. her mom and sister in the same way. I mean, to me, it sounds like there's a, I mean, there was, and I, was that like triangulate, like, don't put this in because I don't remember the actual term, like triangulating something or like when there's that, um, when there's that dynamic where it's like, it's me, you know, it's like the, it's like one parent is left out, but mm-hmm. the kids are kind of all in on it with the other parents. So there's uh-huh. like a bit of a, you know, there's a little triangle going on there. But it's not with the other parent, and it's kind of obviously against it. That was happening. Mm -hmm. So there was, like, an obvious, like, I'm not sure what that's called. I really forget the term. But, like, you know, dad's drunk. Mom is talking shit about the dad in front of the kids. And everyone is aware of it. Like, you know, we're all aware of the marital problems happening. We're aware of how drunk dad is. We're aware of blah, blah, blah. We can only have fun when dad is not around. Everyone's very aware. Right. And it does sound like, I mean, not like poor JB, but it does. She does talk about in the book, like her father's upbringing and how he was abused. Like the cycle of abuse is real. Um, we don't feel bad for Jamie, but it's true. No, I Cycle don't, but is it, is, it does at least provide some context to like why he's such a control freak monster. Yeah. People aren't born like this. No. They're molded. They are. Um, but I don't really feel bad for his leg. And <laughs> um, <laughs> and I just, want, I just want Brittany to be happy. I just like, if she doesn't ever want to make music again, I support it. If she just wants to dance naked in her room, like let the woman dance naked in her room. She was literally like... Yeah. unable to do anything she wanted for so long she was forced at least like, 10 years she was like yeah i think it was like 13, in the prime years. of her fucking life yeah she, it was, she was just like monkey go monkey dance for like the longest time for her literal family i can't imagine my family living off of me no. and needing me to survive that would yeah. actually run me into the ground it would and, and then the she, gaslighting me into she thinking she that i'm not about normal. like how dark it got and like i can't. I, I don't blame her for going there you know it's yeah. like it's such a she put up with way too much she did well and they also told her in the beginning of the conservatorship like this is your lawyer and you can't change lawyers like she didn't realize that she could like get a new lawyer at any time you know it's it is really why wouldn't they lie when they're trying to maintain control over everything you're right and like 
you know, people are always surprised when like a boss bitch goes down Mm -hmm. (laughs) and you're, and you're very surprised, like with someone who has so much talent, money and, you know, charisma and everything, blah, 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 blah. You think that people have free will. Yeah. And you're very shocked to find out when they don't and why. Yeah. But it was because in 2000, what was it? 2012 to 2012 and 2013. Um, I worked on the X Factor as a PA. Oh yeah! And the first year I worked on it, she was judge oh, on, yeah. on it. And I, all of the other judges, I mean, like including Simon Cowell and like Demi Lovato, they just seemed very aware of what was going on. Like they understood. Like it really, she was just like pure zombie. Like she would walk down the hallway and look straight ahead. It was like she had blinders on and like she was, it was like she was completely not present and she struggled a lot. Like in the inner, like she wasn't great at doing the job. Like they basically fed her lines to like repeat, like basically they did like repeat after me exercises with her when it was like, you know, talk to me about these contestants. What did you see? What did you like? What are you looking forward to in the performances? Blah, blah, blah. She really struggled. And it's like, at the time, everyone was getting so frustrated with her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was like, it made complete sense to be frustrated with her when they had no idea what the fuck was going on. But it's like, who knows what she was going through? Who knows, like, first of all, the trauma that she was dealing with that day, the drugs that are being pumped into her system, whatever, like, threat her dad made to her, like... All, and she's just there mm. to make money for him, basically. I mean, yeah, you know, you really, <laughs> you really think about, I mean, when I think about any time as a child or mm-hmm. like teen, early 20s, when I've been checked out of something or, you know, struggling or whatever has been going on in the background of my life and how tumultuous it was and how much trouble I had in my real life, I can't imagine on that scale. Yeah. Also, and we're talking about like fucking millions of dollars coming and coming out. Yeah. Like <laughs> all that is like that. That's not that. That is a level none of us really understand. Like and we don't know like what this money is like. All eyes on her. I can't like when she's. <laughs> I was only allowed a four thousand um, dollar, my, my four thousand dollar monthly allowance, and it's like, yeah, that's unfair because you're a millionaire. But right. <laughs> but that's also so much. But that's also fucking. So but much. also they controlled what she could spend it on. It so wasn't yeah, like, she's a fucking millionaire. Let her do what she wants. Let, it's it's her fucking money. I mean, we like, all... Capitalism isn't fair, but let Brittany spend her money. Let her fuck up if she needs to fuck up. My favorite part was um, at one point in the book, she was like, I did make peace with my family and that I made peace with never speaking to them again. <laughs> Wonderful. And that was like iconic line. Beautiful. I mean, write that into a song. If you want, Brittany. No, I'm not saying you have to. Yeah, make music. I mean, or don't. don't. Whatever. Uh, Do keep literally dancing you in want. your room. You know what I mean? Keep keep twirling, girl. Keep twirling around and around and around and around and around. I, I wish her all the twirls in the world. All right. Well, let's shut the door on Britney's book. Yeah. She'll probably read another one, though. I hope. I think she will. Part Angel. two. What do you think her net worth is, though? I mean, like... It's very unclear. That is very unclear. I'm going to say 60 mil. Hmm... Are you looking it up? Yeah. Do you think she has a wealthy gorilla? I do. I was really going to look it up. I bet she has a wealthy gorilla. Okay, this is not her face at all, but I'll definitely put it in the slimmer. Um, <laughs> it's wealthy gorilla? Yeah, like who would you, who is this? Mina Savari? Like who is this? I have no idea. This is Britney Spears, but like. But it's not. <clears throat> wow. Oh, you were kind of close. Oh. 70 million. 70? Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. Get it, Brit. All right, okay. let's shut the door. Shutting the door on you, Brit. Oh, oh. Mark and Brittany have met. Oh yeah, they, he he's listened to the book. He's read the book. He read the book. He called just, her after to be like, "Listen, I'm deleting Justin's number." Yep, he was like, "I'm That's so it. sorry, I didn't know. My name is Mark McGrath. My name is Mark McGrath." Great, moving on. Yep, I had to pee so bad. Oh, good. May I? All right, we're hoping for the best. I'm we'll so see scared. how this goes. Holes, holes, wow. holes. Okay, okay wow. well, Kevin's holes back. Kevin's back from the fucking dead. All right, who's your good boy this Fine. week? Fine. Okay, I'll make it quick. Uh. Yuck. Oh my god! I got pie for northern for my weed people. Pie? pie. Why do they always bring you sweets? It was a surprise too, and I what even kind of noticed pie? after the fact they had like said on social that they were going to be like, "Hey, we have fucking pie today." I didn't even know weed pie. No, it was it was like a mixed berry. Oh yeah, very delicious. Yeah. Do you think they made the crust, or you think they bought it frozen? It was it was a made crust. I could oh, tell. Oh nice. I could tell. Yeah, you can tell. I can tell. You can tell because if it's like imperfect, mm-hmm. they probably made it. And like it was a little thin, and I was like, "That's fine." Yeah, it's fine. 
but it was it was definitely homemade. I could tell the pie was the pie crust was homemade. Was it just one slice, or do you? It was, was just one slice, but okay. it was in like a little. I'll even put it on the slimer. I do have to put a photo of it because I was very happy. Um, it's in a little like its own little pie. Um, it has a it has a cute little container. Oh, this for shy, a single like slice the, of pie. Yeah, cute. It's adorable. I'll put my so bag out to Wilmer. That'll be my yeah. that'll be my good boy of the week. Even You're though a huge like, baker, even though they were like kind of mid at best. <laughs> Whatever. I'll, I'll, You're working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'll still put them in Wilmer because it's the right thing to do. It's the right. The world needs to see the baguettes. And then who's my other good boy? I don't really think I have a good boy. Like everything is so fine. Everything just is so fine in December. Yes, yeah, Zoe's in perfect fine. taint. Yeah, halfway through Hanukkah by the time this episode comes out. Yep. Is it over? Is it over? I think so, maybe. Um, I can't do math. If you missed the opportunity to give Diane your address, sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. You, you missed, don't get you a it. card anymore. No, you won't get a card. Because we're doing to... them literally after this episode. We're doing them We have after to pound the them out. Yep. I mean, Diane does. Yeah, She's Diane's coming gonna over. Pound them out. She's going to pound them out. Um, you're going to get a note from Diane if you're so lucky. If you're not lucky, go fuck yourself. Yeah, sorry about it. Okay, TV talk. Um, wait, I have one more good boy. Oh, amazing. Um, I forget the place, what it's called, but Persian ice cream. You ever had in the city? No. I didn't even know we had it in the city, but That's I remember Persian thinking about it like, I mean, they have like tasty flavors like saffron pistachio. or like, oh yeah, saffron and pistachio was of what course. I had. That sounds delicious. Rose water. Was it? I wouldn't want Lavender. that. Lavender. You'd oh. hate that too. I'd hate that. I yeah. love all the florals. It's a little too medicinal or like mm. potpourri. I'll find something of theirs. I'll put on the slimer. I don't know if I have a picture of was what I got. Was the consistency but... different from like other ice cream? You know what? It wasn't really, but they don't actually use eggs. I forget that. Oh. Yeah. Um, at least that's it. Cause I, we used to, we used to resell this like Persian ice cream. The thing is like, you get like a big chunk of, uh, saffron, like pistachio ice cream mm-hmm. between like two very thin waffles. Mm, very tasty. We used to good. have those in our freezer at the bakery. And I was like, my, my, mm-hmm. I remember being like, where is it here? Hmm. And then it turns out we have three locations of like one Persian ice cream place in the okay. city. And it's really, really good. Interesting. Yeah, baby. Maybe I gotta try it out. I do I like pistachio should. ice cream. I think it's an underrated legend. Oh, I love pistachios. Yeah, I love me the too. Ice They're cream. so fucking good. So fucking good. They should make ice cream out of different kinds of nuts. Oh, I had Turkish cold brew. That was the other one I had. Oh, with that's it. sweet. It was really good. Condensed though. milk. Was, I don't know actually. No, that was the ice cream flavor. Oh, yeah. Oh, and they also yum. sold um, baklava. Uh huh. And Delish. I forget what they're called, but it's Speaking like of a filo. S- Speaking of phyllo, yeah, no, that's a phyllo. No, that's a phyllo. Phyllo and it makes me feel so great. <laughs> my, my my name is Zoe Clark. <laughs> my name is definitely Zoe Clark. That's a hot joke, and I can't say that I'm Greek. I can't say I'm Greek, but like, there's so many different species of baklava. Oh, I mean, there's like the Georgian kind. Mm-hmm. There's an Armenian kind, mm-hmm. a Azerbaijani kind. Oh, there's... it's not all just like pistachio and honey. No, some are walnut. Some are oh, just yeah. like. You know, I mean, wal- I love it all. Walnut chunk, more of a chunk in the middle, less of a phyllo, like more of like oh. a top and a top. Oh, two that's, tops. That's kind of like a YouTube wormhole How progressive. sometimes. Uh, People making baklava. Oh, it's baklava fun types? to watch. Okay. Baklava types. Baklava types. Very, I love baklava. Dream I can baklava? eat baklava. Email Diane. Check the ingredients though, because sometimes it's just corn syrup. Not as good. No, you need it. You need that real honey, honey baby. Bunny. Um, okay. TV talk. TV talk. TV talk. TV talk. Wow, he sounds so normal. Thank you. <sighs> Kevin's back from the dead, so we'll definitely leave in his haunted voice oh. for a bit. <laughs> um, TV talk. Well, there was Gosh, what the was finale there? of F Boy Island. Did you watch? No, the I saw it ended last I'm over week. It. Jesus no, Christ! No, the finale just happened. Oh my fucking god! This is like the Golden Bachelor all over again. It's literally the Golden Bachelor. All By over the way, again. Golden Incarnate. Bachelor not a good person. No, I know. I love. You it. heard about it? Yeah. Can we talk about it for one brief second? Yeah, absolutely. Apparently, he charged his ex rent. Oh, I didn't hear that. Which is like the funniest thing to me. I mean, it's just like you should obviously, ob- like, okay, you should obviously charge your spouse rent if you're living with them. I do a split. That just makes sense. Do a split. Yeah. But if you're the golden bachelor and 65 years old, but like, how old is he again? I don't know, like 70. He's 70. Sure, sorry. But he I also don't... lied about a bunch of shit. But like, he lied. I can't tell. Here's the thing I can't tell. Is how much of it is just like the show producers doing the lying and him going along? Oh, I mean, I didn't watch the whole thing. I only like watched the last two of the last three, let's call it, because they kept being like, 
And in the next episode, he chooses his mate, and he chose the most frail woman I've ever I seen. Know, this poor Teresa. woman. Poor Teresa. Um, you know why? I think he wants to use her. Okay. Look, you heard Julie's conspiracy. Poor, like, what else did he do? Oh, yeah. He, oh, it was like, I have never dated since my ex-wife right. died or whatever. Right. My ex-wife, See, sorry. My wife died. Yeah. <laughs> my ex-wife died. <laughs> We're exes. She died. Um, uh, right. But see, that one. But like, he'd been living with someone, like, like post three months after she had died or something. Yeah, he like, like hard. Like she was ripe. <laughs> um, but and he cried that, several times about this problem. That, that I feel like was a producer thing. You think so? Yeah. Like cry about your dead wife now. <laughs> like that's what it was. He kept being like, "This is the first person I've said oh, I love yeah. you to no, since my definitely, wife." That's, okay, fine. You're right. He's a liar. He also He's a fat dirty shamed his his ex girlfriend for what i didn't read that was this all in the hollywood reporter article oh probably yeah i, I know there was like an expose about jerry but gary like jerry gary, gary. Jerry. who knows who can't knows? stand he sounds like kermit the frog i the thing is he's so whatever like i love when men cry but he weaponized his tears he was a liar okay, okay. weaponized golden weaponized golden bachelor tears i'm but the thing is what pisses me off it was just like I'm not even a huge Bachelor fan. Mm -hmm. It was just like, I feel like I kept saying there was no way this could have been flipped. Like it was a bunch of men and one woman. They're going to do it. For the Golden Bachelor. They're going to do it. I thought the quality of men would be too poor for that generation. The th I the agree. And it turns out it is because they couldn't the even quality, find one fucking dude. The quality of women though, amazing. Amazing. The all women, hot. All, all drop dead Gorgerino. All of them were like girl bosses, girl bosses, families, fun, funky. They did the horror in the fucking pool. Incredible. Did you see that episode? I don't think so. Yeah, it was epic. It was what's her top to them. Yeah, but the women were incredible. And then he's just so like. But that's how it is in life. He's such a cardboard. He is a cardboard. He's literally not even corrugated cardboard. No, women not are so multifaceted and special and wonderful, and men sometimes it's just. I'm like, like you're so uninteresting. The most interesting thing about you they is they tell you have the a same stories. You know, yeah, it's just like exactly. they're just the same. And the, all the women were like, "He's the best thing that's ever happened to me." And I'm like, "He, him, this guy, this guy." And you know why? It was just like, oh, he told me about one feeling he had, but one, it, one, it was not even I true. Know. The bar is underground. The bar is like non-existent. It's non-existent. I can't. If we can't have love on Golden Bachelor, no one deserves it. <laughs> Uh -huh. This was this was the last ditch effort for love on earth. Well, here's the thing: is there's going to be a golden bachelorette? Great, and those men are going to be trash. Full of that one I will fucking watch. Yeah, just I to not wait. I mean, it'll be a trash heap for sure. Actually, I would like. I don't watch any of the Bachelor franchise anymore. Yeah, no, me neither. Because <laughs> like, well, I why? Mean, who cares? Yeah, this I would watch Golden Bachelorette. Okay, you heard I it your last. I fucking would. Who uh, do you think it's going to be? Anyway, we'll I see. think it's going to be Ellen. Oh, she's blonde. Okay. They're all blonde. <laughs> like, she's also blonde. I mean, you know what? Get it. That's just my guess. I, I actually only watched, like, the first five episodes They're and I stopped. They're all really funny, though. They're like, all from funny what I saw, and hot. Yeah, I mean, like, in the little... They kept playing, like, um, outtakes or whatever. Mm -hmm. They all... I mean, maybe it was because... They're, they're not 23-year-old women. Yeah, and they're not, like, trying to be influencers or, like... Yeah. I think they're just trying to have fun. They were literally time. trying to have fun, which was yeah. kind of cute. It was, like, summer camp. It was literally summer camp. Yeah. It seemed kind of genuine. I For agree. at least, you know, the female bonds and friendship that they made. Not to say that, you know, female friendship doesn't exist on The Bachelor. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. I'm sure they all come away with, you know... Best friends, friends for friendships life. that left last a lifetime. Oh, absolutely beautiful friendships. Any other TV talks? Um, I'm oh. not caught up on the curse at all. Oh no, I don't think I am. I'm either. a million episodes behind. Yeah, whatever. It's just not as what. Well, it's good. It's just you know, it's not. I started a documentary it's... about racism in Boston. Oh, curious. It's on, <laughs> it's on HBO. <laughs> Everything um, I hear about Boston is that they're racist. Yeah, it's that's, on HBO. As a Canadian, Max. that's what I hear. Actually, oh, it's on Max. what's it called? Mr. Max. It's called Mr. Max. It's called like Murder Murderous Rampage. No. Murderous Rampage. I don't know. Just search just Google HBO Max Boston Murder Documentary and you'll find it. Okay, well I have a TV talk from my literal neighbor who oh, was okay. trying to tell me to watch a documentary because now that we have cable through Carlos's brother oh. in law. Uh, <laughs> thank Amazing. you. Amazing. Um, Shout out to him. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Thank you. I was trying to watch what was I trying to watch? Oh my god! It was that documentary about that school bus that goes missing. Oh yeah, I didn't watch that. I mean, it's not a very interesting story. Okay, but it kind of is. Where you're just okay. like, oh, this is wild, but this is not what I thought it was. Okay. It was more like a, oh, the crime was over in like four hours. Oh. <laughs> like you know what okay. I mean? And the documentary is twelve. 
no but the documentary was only one episode oh, okay but good. like i was like oh i literally can't find this anywhere i need to watch this on cnn proper oh. they're like oh you want to use our cnn yes please um yeah. so anyway Get it. Get that, that was good. embarrassing um <laughs> <laughs> that was the most embarrassing I think I've done all week. Uh, <laughs> um, watch CNN. Watch you, but it was like CNN films, fine. <sighs> this the Boston documentary is in collab with um, the Boston Globe. I don't know why I said oh, that. Okay. Anyway, it's about a murder that took place in the nineties, oh, um, and I won't give it away. But things are not how they seem. Uh oh! Can you believe? I that's that's not normal. No, something's up. I'm scared. So I, I mean, I think it's a three part aru, and because it's HBO, they're doing one week at a time. Ugh. Um, so I've only seen the first episode, but I looked up the crime, so I know what happens. Sometimes I do that. Yeah, I just sometimes you just gotta know. You I know? did. Yeah. Are we dealing with like? How many murders are we dealing with? How many? Is there uh, a spin? How many some? years mm. are we going to go on? You know, is it going to is this crime going to be resolved in twelve years, or is it going to be resolved in two months? You know what I mean? I just need to know. Mm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Sometimes I do like a long, a long doodle. Yep. You know, something that and then like resurfaces. Oh, it resurfaced twelve years later with mm. new DNA yep, 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 evidence. Yep, 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 yep. Like interesting. This one wasn't a resurfacer. I don't think it was like a bit of a confession oh these are my Ooh, confessions like, to curious. a bystander but it was a, basically the person who did the crime confessed to their brother who then told the cops jesus bada bing bada boom i framed you know by your brother yeah it's wild when family rats on you but okay. you know what in some cases you deserve it yeah in this case you definitely deserve it yeah there's some cases that you really really do um that that terry schreiber is that her name the one that is in like a coma. There's like a oh, documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. How do you say? Is it Schreiber? Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry. I'm literally saying like a, I'm saying Lieb Schreiber. <laughs> That's no, her saying. name is Schraub. Sh- I have it. S-C-H-I-A-V-O. Yeah. How do you say that? I don't I am. You know I am. It's not Shivago, obviously. It's. Sabaro. Shivaro. Terry Shivaro. Whatever. Whatever. There's a documentary about that whole situation. Shivo. No, I think you're right. Wow. We did it. Incredible. Put all of that in. <laughs> Embarrassing. Um, Perfect pronunciation. I mean, that that's a story of someone who, I'm not sure if she's, oh God, I hope there's a not a better term for brain dead, but she's like, is she brain dead or is she in a coma or something? Mm. And it's like one of those, like, I'm on life support. Do we take her on or off? Yeah, she yeah, had yeah, no yeah, last yeah. will and testament because she was 23 when she died. Mm. Um, so it's like one of those like, yeah. What do we do in this situation? Mm-hmm. And we all know our answer, but but we don't know Terry. So she, I guess she's still is she still around? I guess we'll see. I, I haven't seen it yet. I think she's dead. Is she dead? We'll see. Email I Diane. don't know yet. Email Diane. Maybe I'll look up the. Diane crime. says, "Take me off life support." Diane's like, yeah. I mean, the first sign of if <laughs> even if even if I don't mm-hmm. think I'm like, yeah. even if I don't look like I'm waking up from a nap, yeah, take me to the hospital. If I and break me. if I break a nail, physician assisted suicide. <laughs> My name is Diane. <laughs> My name is Diane. I um, have to have perfect nails. All right. Well, let's write these. I mean, let's f- force Diane to write these letters before she. Uh, oh God, takes she'll be too tired. Her own hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Email Diane at badboypod.com or whatever. Shop at badboypod.com for a t-shirt. For a t-shirt. Uh, follow us at Bad Boy Podcast. Leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, etc. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you know, lick, lick, lick. Lick. So that's all I have to say about that. Just lick. Just lick, baby. And it's Thursday, so let your hair down. Uh oh. Let yeah. your pa- take your pants off. Oh, I really thought she was going to say panties. Take your panties off, but take your pants off. But at take least. also take your pants off, then take your panties off. It may be too cold to take your panties off, though. Take your pants off. Take your panties off. Put your pants back on and go mm-hmm. commando into this day. Go commando into this day. My name is Diane. Brought to you by Lady Parts.